Jack, of course I want Caleb gone. I mean, he's been completely impossible ever since we met. Well, you have to teach him a lesson that Erica Kane needs to be respected. Well, obviously, he's too thick to figure that out for himself. Obviously. But I don't want to waste my time putting him in his place. You know, maybe he's just fired off your competitive nature. I mean, the guy doesn't know anything about big business, but once he learns the ropes, he could be a formidable opponent. Well, maybe you could work some legal magic. I want to focus my magic on something important, like the wedding we have to plan. <sighs> You know, Val has scheduled some taste testings for us with five of the country's top chefs. Nice. I'm going to text him, and he can give us some dates. Actually, I was thinking of something that maybe we could tackle today. Jack, you don't want to spend the day going over stationery, do you? Oh, no, something much more manly than that. How about a little pre-wedding feet print? <laughs> I love you, Jack. <laughs> I knew that would do it. But only Ginger can give me a pedicure. Oh. Mr. Cooney, I'm sure that uh, people have been crawling all over you since you arrived in town. It's Palmer's air, but I, I, I assure you that I don't want anything from you. I just, uh, I'm here because of your cousin, Dixie. We were, uh, we were married, and I know that if she were alive today, she'd be the first one over here to say hi. Well, you're right about that. <clears throat> I spent a lot of time with her when she was young. She had a lot of spunk, soul of an angel. It's one of the things I love most about her. You should meet our daughter, Kathy. She's really a, a chip off the old block. You know, she's got her mother's heart and that same no-nonsense edge. Yeah, all the times could use a few more straight shooters like that, couldn't they? I'm also um, a second father to Dixie's son, J.R. Chandler. Chandler's here, Chandler's there. Chandler's, Chandler's everywhere. No, 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 the profit margins are still too high. Take the depreciation numbers and compare them with the long-term debt. Yes. Jair's pissed. He hates that you made me the new head of PR. No, his head is in this proposal for Cortland. It's just... He so wants to prove himself to Adam. He told you that? I can just tell. But don't worry, I know what is at stake for the two of us. We get Palmer's company, and we make sure nobody knows you ever stole that nanotech project. And I can really do this, Scott. I mean, I've done corporate communications in New York and for Cambies, and you should see how many PR nightmares I covered up at Fusion. Annie, don't even get me started. Annie, Annie, you don't have to sell me. <sighs> I know you're perfect for the job. Okay. Now all we have to do is to get Caleb to trust us. That's how we're going to get Cortland. It'll bring up our family connection, my childhood in the hollow. He'll be eaten out of our hands in no time. <sighs> Chandler, mm -hmm. I'll handle this. Yeah. You hate that I'm doing this job. I'm not questioning your ability. It just seems that Caleb's pretty picky about who he deals with. This isn't about Caleb. No. No, it's not. So you obviously already know a little bit about Pine Valley. Make yourself comfortable. Let me ask you something, Slick. Shoot. Obviously a bad choice of words. What happened to Dixie? I just, well, she passed away. I know that. But what happened to her? Here. What did this place do to her? Okay, what, what, what exactly is wrong no, with you? No, it's, it's You don't okay. know, it, uh, it's not okay. Uh, you don't know anything about Tad. You don't know how much he misses her and how he suffers Liza. every day Liza. because he couldn't do Liza. anything. To... Listen, uh, Mr. Cooney, I meant exactly what I said, okay? The only reason I stopped by is to tell you it's, it's nice to meet you. If you ever want to stop by the house, have a little sort of family reunion, I wish you would. Uh, you know. I won't be staying. Tad is being... So nice to you, and you're asking us to leave. Okay. I got things to do. Well, what you got is his family. Whether you know it or not, you got me, you got you got Kathy, JR. Even my mother Opal, she was the love of PC's life. Mm. Life is a lot better when you got people to share it with, you know? Family. And uh, if you want to get to know yours. Anytime, 
Like I said, you're welcome. At least you can meet Dixie's kids. Kids are scared of me. <laughs> well, okay, uh, in case you ever change your mind, call me.